This section explains the water and steam flow circuits in IHI's supercritical boiler. First, feed water supplied to the boiler is introduced to the economizer. The water is fed to the boiler furnace bottom through the connecting pipe and sent to the furnace wall. The water sent into the furnace bottom wall tubes flows uniformly from the lower level of the furnace to the upper level through helical tubes absorbing the heat from combustion gas. The water converts into steam during this stage and is sent to the steam separators. During the low load operation of the boiler, the fluid at the inlet of the steam separators contains water and steam, which are separated by the steam separators. The steam from the steam separators is sent to the heat recovery area through the furnace roof wall tubes. After passing through the rear wall, the steam is split into three main paths. In the front wall, side walls, and partition wall of the heat recovery area, it is then sent to the superheater section. The superheater consists of three sections. The steam is passed through the primary superheater, secondary superheater, and final superheater, exchanging heat with the combustion gas. Increasing the steam temperature at the superheater outlet makes more efficient power generation possible. The steam is sent to the high-pressure steam turbine through the main steam pipe. The steam used in the high-pressure steam turbine is returned to the reheater section of the boiler. The reheated steam is sent to the intermediate and low-pressure steam turbines through the hot reheat pipe. The steam used by the intermediate and low-pressure steam turbines is condensated by the condenser and the cycle is complete. The water is reused as boiler feed water. Now let's look at another IHI boiler feature, the opposite firing system. Superior combustion stability can be achieved with individual burners compared to the corner firing system. Combustion gas distributes a uniform gas flow through the burner distributed evenly along the furnace width and sent to the heat recovery area while efficiently performing heat exchange with the heating surfaces. The heat recovery area is divided into two separate paths by a partition wall. A reheater is installed in the front side and a primary superheater in the rear side. To control the reheat steam temperature, the combustion gas flow rate in both paths can be controlled by the damper installed at the bottom of the heat recovery area. This is called the parallel path method, which increases efficiency compared to steam temperature controlled by a spray attemperator. 